This is the USR Courier console server and PowerSwitch hybrid. As you can see, there are four console ports that will help connect you to any network device, like a router, firewall, switch, PBX, or anything with a console port when the network is down. By dialing in with a modem, you can still configure or troubleshoot from a remote location. This console server also has a power switch, which has two power ports with two current meters that allow you to see the status of the device's power for each port. When connected, you have control over any device plugged into them, so you can do a remote reboot or just check to see if they are running at the proper rates. While this hybrid doesn't have a modem built in, that means you can connect any serial modem you already have, whether it be the classic reliable USR courier business modem or a cellular modem your company has already implemented. No matter what type of access you already have for your out-of-band solution, you don't need to pay for any additional hardware. The USR console server hybrid is under 10 inches wide and can be on a desk or mounted into a single standard rack space with the included kit. In this example, we have a USR 4204 rack mounted in a server room. We have a Cisco router connected to both the console port as well as power ports. Now we have complete control of the router from here or remotely with this courier modem. We'll show you in the following demo how you can connect to the router, reboot it through the router interface, and do a power reboot for when you can't get access to the device if it is down or unreachable. With the current power status, you can verify the power and reconnect to the device and watch it come up from anywhere in the world. We begin by logging in. Enter your username and password to access the main menu. In the main menu, there are two devices configured, a switch on console port A and a router on console port B. The switch is connected to power port 1 and the router is connected to power port 2. To demonstrate a connection to the router's console port, we enter the command B. We are now connected directly to the router's console port. Here we can enter commands. Let's exit from the router prompt and return to the main menu by entering the minus 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 escape sequence. Next we will demonstrate a router reboot by toggling the power to its mains port. Here the main menu provides an indication the router is using 3 tenths of an amp of power. To disconnect power, we enter the command 2. Once the main menu automatically refreshes, it will indicate the power port is off and no current is being detected. To enable power, we enter the command 2. Once the main menu automatically refreshes, it will indicate the power port is on. Now the main screen indicates the router is using 3 tenths of an amp of power. We reconnect to the router's console port to observe any console message during the boot process. Confident the router has successfully begun the reboot process, we can return to the main menu by entering the minus 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 escape sequence.